Hey guys, um, just want to do a quick video today to provide an update on online lab series as well as everything that's been going on. So earlier this morning, like in the wee hours of this morning, I sort of discovered and realized that online lab series has officially hit a total of 20 brand partners um, and we are actually about to go on to 21. So. Uh, as much as it's, a, it's supposed to be an exciting news and I think that it's great progress considering that online lab series was started just less than seven months ago. I guess the question is why am I not as excited as I should be, right? So um, after sharing an update on LinkedIn um, earlier this morning, Monique uh, which is uh, a friend all right, that I, I knew online and she's also a fellow STEM enthusiast, um, STEAM enthusiast, right? So she sort of asked me a question and she posted a comment on my post asking me to share about what inspired online lab series and what was the backstory behind it. So that is what today's video is about. All right, so the very first question that I would like to answer, what is Online Lab Series? Right, Online Lab Series is actually a non-profit online learning experience that I hope to create right, and to provide uh, free education, online education, as well as skills training for anyone of any age group. Right, So there's, there's going to be STEAM education, there's also going to be um, skills training for the adults, all right, as they seek to equip themselves to further their career or to consider a different career path, or maybe they just um, suffered a retrenchment, right? They just got retrenched and now they are seeking to add a new skill so that they can continue to stay relevant in the marketplace. So that is what online lab series aims to do right so what inspired online lab series well in march of this year i was at a crossroad in my life you know after three and a half years of following my passions and trying to seek out my meaning in life trying to seek out my purpose in life i was basically um, hitting a roadblock i didn't know what my purpose in life was and i was starting to think to myself that maybe there's no such thing you know as purpose in life or meaning in life and i was ready to give it up i was ready to go back to the workforce um, because i have depths that i need to clear and life was basically calling on me right so um, i thought okay you know i'm gonna start looking for a job and I need to find a way to get myself certified in certain skills that I have because being a nerd, I have a lot of different skills and I have a lot of different knowledge. But without a certification to back that knowledge and skills, you know, a lot of companies won't recognize it and it will be a challenge trying to find a job. So when I looked at a lot of the different um, skills training programs that are available locally here in Singapore, I realized that, you know, there wasn't a way for me because I was broke. And, you know, in order to really claim for those causes, I would have to pay first and then claim later. And that was a problem. That was a serious issue for me. So being really disappointed and really depressed and not really having a lot of hope, I thought to myself, you know, if I was having such a challenge, what about the millions of children and adults around the world that are living and working in countries that are so much poorer than Singapore? So that gave me the inspiration of wanting to create online education that's 100% free, right? I also believe that education, you know, the right to an education is something that should be equal 
that all of us should have the opportunity to equip ourselves and to um, discover new skills for ourselves, to discover things that we are passionate about. Right, so that's how uh, the inspiration for online lab series started. All right, so there are three fundamental, three foundational principles that defines online lab series. And you will ultimately also define what online lab series is going to be in the future. Number one, the idea is to give cheerfully without expecting anything in return, AKA pay it forward. Number two, uh, is to be able to spread hope by providing equal rights and opportunity for anyone to get an education, to seek an education, or to improve a skill or to pick up a new skill. Number three, is to empower those seeking to improve their lives or those of their families, right? So when they look at getting an education, when they look at picking up a new skill, it's so that ultimately to fulfill a goal of finding a job in life and to be able to get income and to be able to support their family. So that is what we want to do. That is what I would like to do. So for online lab series, um, this is the fourth item that I want to talk about today. Our focus is on the educational approach, right? So unlike the conventional method of teaching certain concepts from the brown lights in schools and in universities, we are all required to go through a textbook that covers the basics before we actually get to the end of the more complex formulas and, and theorems and so on. But what I want to do is something different. I want to focus on a more solutions driven approach. It's about exploring product applications as far as potential real world use cases. Now, of course, if, it, if it's permitted and the opportunity arises, I would love to even test out those ideas in a real setting. Right, so having this approach meant that it will be more practical, it will be hands-on, it will be online, which is why I would like to create a live workshop series right, surrounding certain brands and their products. And more importantly, you know, I don't charge brand partners because the idea is that this is not a marketing or advertising platform. This is actually a learning platform that promises to deliver content that is both relevant and obviously promising the future. So if you are taking the time to learn something on online lab series, chances are you will continue to stay relevant just as the product and brands continue to be relevant in the future. Alright, so one more thing that I need to sort of clear the air and make it official once and for all. Online Lab Series is not a company, right? There are no corporate agendas or monthly revenue bottom lines. None of those matter to me. What I really care about is being able to produce high quality learning content and online learning experiences. Right, and finally, the most important thing that I care about at the end of the day, this is my bottom line, is how many people and families that can actually be blessed as a result of what I'm trying to achieve and do here. Right, so that is what I care about. So which is why, you know, since a couple of months ago, I have actually been slowing down the progress of online lab series in the hopes that I can actually take the time, you know, take a step back from proactively engaging potential brand partners to actually focusing on building um, high quality learning content, right? So there are two areas to this. One, I've been spending a lot of time doing product research, like 20, 21 hours every day, seven days a week, focusing on that. It's about learning about the products and understanding their strengths and limitations so that you know we I can effectively tell you or share with you how you can maximize those products 
if you intend to get that for yourselves or for your projects or for your company's usage. Number two, I've also been focusing on trying to raise the money for the things that online lab series needs, right, in order to effectively deliver the learning content and experience that it promises, that I'm promising. And of course, you know, um, being non-profit, I don't earn anything. I don't intend to earn anything from doing this. Everything will be true. Donations, everything will be true. Pay it forward. People giving, right, to the learning platform. So a couple of things that I would need, like one of my crowdfunding campaigns, is actually to raise US $9,800 so that I can actually create a website. I can have a video streaming and hosting platform like Vimeo Live. And then also to get the necessary video recording equipment, video production equipment, which basically is a decent DSLR camera, like the Panasonic GH5, and of course tripod and all the other basic accessories. Now the $9,800, um, the amount excludes the Indiegogo 5% fee, exchange rates, uh, delivery charges and so on. So um, ultimately my hope is to be able to raise more than $9,800 so I can cater for those buffer that is needed, that is necessary. And then finally, there is also one more crowdfunding campaign that I'm trying to raise money for, and that is to raise money for a mobile work station. Now, the campaign, if you were to look at it, the amount stated is $10,000, but ultimately, you know, after deducting all the fees that are necessary, what I will be left with is only about $8,000 plus. And with the workstations that I've shortlisted, they are all around that price range, so honestly, it wouldn't give a lot of room to get any additional accessories that might be necessary. So again, likewise, I would hope that the fundraising goals will be exceeded so that I have the buffer. And of course, you know, with regards to the crowdfunding campaigns, this is the final thing that I want to add. You know, recently with the approval of Design Spark, the Design Spark community managers, to let me post my crowdfunding campaigns on their website meant a lot because in a way it means that the crowdfunding campaigns are legit it means that it's an endorsement and also uh, a sign for you that it's okay to back online lab series and yeah if you want to right so i am very grateful for that and i want to thank the community manager at Design Spark for allowing me to share an article um, on their website. And I'm going to post the link to the article in the description of this post so you can tap on it, go read about it, and back my crowdfunding campaigns. So, finally, in closing, you know, I am very grateful for all the partnerships and support from the community. Right? 20 brand partners in less than seven months is honestly beyond my expectations. When I first started online lab series, I wasn't even sure I was going to get one bread partner in the first month. I was thinking that, you know, realistically, who am I, you know, why would people want to partner with me, right? And honestly, I was thinking it was going to take three months, two to three months before I secure my first brand partner. But now, less than seven months down the road, I already have 20 going on to 21. So um, that is really, really, really a huge surprise and something that I am honestly happy about and very grateful for. Right, but I will celebrate when I secure the funds and the tools that I needed to actually start fulfilling my mission and vision for online lab series. So I'm not going to celebrate just yet, but I am happy. So yeah, with that, um, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Um, let me know what you think by leaving a comment. All right. And uh, until the next time I have an update, I'll speak to you guys again soon. Bye.